Kuba Marchi here. Here's some interesting tidbits of information for you. Did you know that rudeness was reported as the chief cause of stress in a recent poll? It is not the debt crisis or unemployment that stresses people out, but the behavior of other people. It seems humans have elevated rudeness to an art form. Humans are highly social creatures, and whenever, wherever they go, they subtly modify their behavior to fit in with others. Rudeness signals that one is not welcome in the group, activating pain regions in the brain, as found by Naomi Eisenberger and colleagues at UCLA. Rudeness also shows that others don't trust you. When men are distrusted, they experience a sharp spike in testosterone, provoking an aggressive response of the type, like, how dare he? Women have this response too. It's just more muted. Good manners, on the other hand, reflect the golden rule. If you are nice to me, I'll be nice to you. The golden rule exists in every culture on the planet. A likely reason for this is humans' hyperactive connection circuitry in the brain that prominently uses the neurochemical oxytocin. In a decade's worth of experiments in a laboratory, Scientists have found that when someone is nice to another person, the recipient's brain releases oxytocin, and this causes him or her to respond with kindness. Oxytocin is the embodiment of the golden rule. An extraordinary triumph of human species is their ability to extract value from all kinds of relationships with all kinds of people. One never knows when the server at the cafe you frequent might become a neighbor or a romantic partner or work colleague, or perhaps a friend. Maintaining good relationships with many people broadens your ability to find opportunities to profit from relationships. This profit might be a business opportunity, but more often it is the value of companionship that expands their social network. Individuals with the richest social networks are happier, healthier, and live longer. So how do you improve your social life? Experiments have found that those who release the most oxytocin when they are trusted, have higher quality relationships of all types, romantic, friendships, and with family members. Here's a way to start broadening your social network. Say hello to people you meet. Good manners also dictate that you treat them with respect and kindness. Just the thing your mother probably taught you when you were a child, or should have taught you. But this advice resonates with the neuroscience of oxytocin. High stress inhibits oxytocin release and the reciprocation of nice with nice. So if someone is rude toward you, you don't have to lash out at him or her. Give them the benefit of the doubt. They may be having a high stress day. Oxytocin lets you behave with compassion for others by allowing you to experience others' emotional states. Here's a way to take it one step further. Next time someone is rude to you, offer him or her a hug. It's an easy way to diffuse the situation by getting their brains to release oxytocin and reduce the stress they're experiencing. In other words, just be kind. Cooper Marchie here. Ciao.